Are you in reverse? What's this? Oh! What the heck is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are headed to the HQ for another day of awesomeness here in Pittsburgh. We are meeting Uncle Dan there. If you don't know Uncle Dan, he's been on the channel before. Anyways, we're meeting him there with his new, newer, new to him, third gen Cummins, okay? And already it has third gen problems. I'm running slightly behind, so he's probably waiting. Let's go. I just realized that uh, inspection's been out since October and it's March. And guys, really quick, we're trying to hit a million subscribers before the end of the week. If we do that, we will officially be the fastest growing YouTube channel in history. So hit that subscribe button and let's make it happen. All right, you're in reverse. Give her the sauce. It won't even go. <laughs> oh, it's going. All right, reverse is smoked, but all forward drive gears are fine. Oh, he's just gonna forever destroy it now. Now you're just gonna send it right to smithereens. All right, so the initial problem was death wobble. That's what we were, that's what we were gonna look at today, but now we got reverse gone. You're in, he's in reverse. Be a four wheel. Dude. What's this? Up. <laughs> so we have we have multiple trucks at the uh, modern diesel HQ, the MD HQ, with transmission problems. Okay, so my truck transmission problems. His truck transmission problems. The old beater Cummins, mine, the red one, transmission problems. The red Chevy in the garage has a parasitic draw, kills batteries. Merle. I don't know, that's major problems. <laughs> we got a bunch of vehicles with a bunch of problems. This transmission thing though. My seat, my seat just did a wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> it has the forward drive clutches are holding. This side wiper doesn't even work. Look at the difference. The old hand wipe right on the jeans. Maybe we should have fluid. Fram. <laughs> it's a little better though. It's better? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna put the rest of this in there. All right, we're gonna put the whole thing in there. All right, guys, so this is, we didn't even introduce the dang truck. This is the truck, it's 06, 06. Ram 2500, 59 pre-emission. Um, oh, what's this? <laughs> what we initially brought this in here for is death wobble, the notorious third gen death wobble. But there was another problem, the transmission doesn't go in reverse, it slips in reverse. You've seen all that whole action out there. Um, so what I did, we rolled under it real quick. He had to fix a wiper because his wiper blade wasn't working. So rolling under here, just super fast, looking at some things, you can see that the transmission line is super kinked. Now that's the return line. That's the return transmission line for the cooler and the heat exchanger and stuff for fluid to get back to the back of the transmission. You know, there, there's your hot line there. Um, and that's also kinked if you look way up in there I'll try to circle it in the edit that's also kinked so the hot line's slightly kinked and the return line's like mega kinked like that is absolutely flat right there so I don't know if that's the problem but that's definitely a problem and also the oil pan gaskets uh, just about smoked <laughs> I feel like everyone says that yeah you know it's just leaking a little oil but 
pretty clean. So as we were sitting here talking, what if what if the transmission is pumping fluid, you know, to the first cooler that sits mounted on the block, then it goes up to the heat exchanger part in the front. So what if it's pumping fluid out and it's not getting it back fast enough? So in return, the transmission is running on limited fluid because the lines are kinked and it's up there and it's not coming returning back fast enough. Does that make any sense? So we're looking at possibly what? Doing the lines. Get a stainless braided AN line kit for like 200 bucks. Is the damage done though? So just another day to HQ. Death wobble problem. I think we fixed that. Or not fixed it, but figured that out. Also, upper ball joints, both sides, toast. Completely toast. Everything else is pretty new. They have newer bushings and stuff on the uh, on the sway bar, on the track bar, um, sway bar end links. Um, tire rod ends are pretty solid. It's just upper ball joints on both ends of the truck, driver side, passenger side, are are very very wobbly. So, but we're not going to go ahead and fix that stuff until we figure out the transmission because old Cummins might be going for sale. Do in reverse. Yeah, that's strange. It goes it goes fine and in, in forward. The forward gears are good. Uh, just the reverse is bad. So is that overdrive? Is overdrive smoked? I don't know. I don't know much about those transmissions. So, so the verdict I think we're gonna try is we're gonna get a stainless braided end line kit for that and put that on maybe, hopefully. But this video is probably gonna go live before we order any parts. So if anyone out there knows the problem and is like, don't even waste your time putting new cooler lines on because it's not gonna fix it, um, let me know. But those lines are flat. That has to be a problem. But like I said, I don't know if it's the problem. Quick shop update you wanna see? You wanna see this mess? Okay, look. Random tires. I don't even know what that is. Garbage. Pile of split wood. More garbage. Junk. Broke down Chevy. Mess. That's it, I'm out of here.